it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. Welcome back. We are here for another movement practice. This week, uh, I think we're going to try to do a little bit of cardio-esque, a little bit of strength stuff, try to get moving, and uh, hope you like it. So, uh, move at your own risk and at your own pace and level. Have some water standing by, drink when you like, towel off if you're getting hot and sweaty, or whatever. Let's scoot back and get going. Alrighty. So we'll come into a seated staff pose, if you will. Legs long, long sit. I'm going to send my right arm out to the side and I'm just going to lean into it. I'm going to do a little shoulder shrug action here. I plan to use a lot of pressing today. So let's gently warm up our shoulders. As I press, I'm kind of turning the hand, engaging my lat, scoop it in my shoulder blade. Yeah, let's add a little neck stretch, why not? So I'm going to bring the left ear to left shoulder. And we'll switch sides. Coming up to center, left hand can come down. And again, I'm just going to lean into it and press. Lean into it and press. I'm trying to turn the grip, feeling the, the lat, the back engage. Let's do three more. Okay, we'll add that stretch, bring the right ear to right shoulder. Let's switch sides. So as we switch, I'm going to go chin to chest, and then opposite ear to opposite shoulder. Rocking through, ear to shoulder. Good, we'll come to center. And we'll just roll out the shoulders. As I bring the shoulders forward, I'm going to try to squeeze them together in big, wide, round circles. One more. Good. Swing our legs to the side for side bend sit, to your left if you will. And now we'll plant the right hand and reach with the left for a twist. I'm going to free the legs, posting hand to hand, and tucking and reaching opposite side. Same thing, free the legs using my post and reach. Free, tuck, reach, and then let's reach up. Again, as I reach up, I'm going to press through the bottom hand. And if you're feeling groovy, you can lift the hips. Again, strong press through the shoulder. I'm not collapsing, I'm pressing away as I reach up. And we'll come down, switch, wrap. First reaching behind me, then reaching up, I'm going to press. Good, coming down, let's do one more each side, we're going to go right to the reaching up. As I reach, press, lift my hips, and we'll switch. Press and lift. Good. From here, I'm simply going to 
walk towards the front, coming into a pigeon-like pose, and folding over that front thigh. And you know what? Let's, from here, back, I'm going to crawl forward. If you need to lift up, we're going to windshield wiper this bottom foot out from underneath us, coming into like the bottom of a push-up, laying, laying plank position, and then we'll engage the toes, and we'll press up, and we'll come down for one. Now I'm going to crawl my way back. So if you're going to go towards child's pose, that same side leg, I'm going to slide in like I'm going a pigeon, and come back to that side bend sit. Let's do three of those just to iron it out, and then we'll switch side to side. So I'm folding over that front leg, side bend sit, forward fold, shitty pigeon. I'm going to crawl forward, coming into a low push up, pressing up, coming down, shifting like I'm going to go to child's pose, tabletop, coming back to that shitty pigeon, side bend sit. Let's see, this angle, one more this side and then we'll switch. Crawling forward, windshield wiper one leg, windshield wiper the other. Toes engage, push ups too much, leave your knees down, and try to lift up, come down, tabletop, slide forward, windshield wiper, side bend sit. We'll post, free the legs, and we'll switch sides. So folding forward, crawling forward, one leg windshield wipers. Other one slides out, toes engage, push up, come down, coming up to tabletop, knee slides forward, side bend sit, folding forward, crawling out, windshield wiper, slide the other leg, push up, down, knee comes forward, side bend sit. Not bad for something I just made up. Boom, one more. Let's give you a side view. Side bent, folding over the front leg. Raise, if this is too much, I just come up. Windshield wiper, lower, press. I can have the knee come down and come back. Now let's alternate sides. So this will be fun. We'll switch. Side bend sit. Hold forward. Crawling out. Press up. Come down. Coming back to that side bend sit. Switching legs. Folding forward. Coming out. Pressing up. Down. Engine back. Side bend sit. Switch, fold, low plank, upper plank, down, tabletop, side bend, sit, switch, fold, windshield wiper, low plank, high plank, down, tabletop, knee forward, side bend, sit. Cool. Let's move on. So starting to warm up there, we can continue that if you like. We're going to start to engage our fingers. And let's just keep playing with this coming out of our side bend sit. So from our side bend sit, my left knee is forward. I'm going to plant my left hand. I'm going to reach with the right. As I do, I'm going to come to downward facing dog. So I'm going to make a few adjustments as I go. My leg extends. Plant my feet and come up. Left knee comes down. Side bend sit. Shin box, whatever you want to call it. Posting and hips come up. As they come up, I reach over with the right hand. Step with the right leg. Downward facing dog. Almost like I'm flipping my dog. We can drop the left knee. 
and come back. Let's do two more this side and then we'll switch. So coming up and over, toes engaged, coming back, good. Reaching, hips lift, and downward facing. Soften the knees, we can land the left, and then step the right over it. Let's switch sides. So for fun, swing the legs, hip to hip, cheek to cheek. So right legs forward, right hands forward. Like we did moments ago, pressing strong through the shoulder. And I'm coming up. These toes engage. Downward facing dog. Knees bend, right knee lands. Left foot steps over, strong shoulder. Hips come down and back. If I'm making too much of it, it's okay. Just move with your intentions. Driving up, stepping, nice and slow, tabletop, downward facing dog. So you have choices along the way. Good. So now, same idea. Let's switch side to side. So we're going to roll all the way through and we'll give that a shot. So from our legs outstretched, I'm going to go right knee in front, left leg to the back, right hand plants. Like we just did, we're going to make sure our space is going to keep going that direction to the right. Step up, downward facing dog. Left knee is going to lower to the floor. Right foot steps behind, side bend, sit opposite side. Rolling through, downward facing, right knee bends, left foot steps over. Step, jump, step back. I'm going to switch directions. So, I'm going to face away from you guys so you can see. So, switching sides. We're going to go, we'll do one round. Knees down, like tabletop in the middle of all this, just in case you're struggling at home. And we'll do it. So, side bend, sit. Right arm's going to reach, like we did with that twist. Hips lift, tabletop, toes tuck, downward facing. Tabletop, left leg reaches, hips come down, Make my side bend, sit. Reverse, tabletop. Downward facing, tabletop. Right foot steps behind, side bend sit. One more time, dissecting it. Tabletop, stepping back, side bend sit. So we have our side bend sit reach, brings us to our tabletop, brings us to our downward facing. Tabletop, now we go to the opposite side. There's my reach. Back to side bend sit. Good. Now let's go quick and in control. So I'm not going to dissect it. I'm going to reach, step, soften the knees, and come down. Soften the knees, and come down.
couple more across and back. Good. So, hopefully you're having fun with that. We're just going to add a little bit of like a crow for uh, an interlude and a little bit of like jumping towards crane. I can't do crane super well, so this will be our way of faking it. So from our tabletop position, I'm going to lean over my shoulders, press through the hands, I'm going to engage the toes, pull up the knees, I'm just going to hop. Now don't dive and look down, I'm just trying to float. Almost like when you're starting to do a handstand, you try to kick up and hold for a second, and then you maybe hold for two seconds, but the idea is not to topple over forward. And the other idea is not to shoot your hips up. We're trying to trying to stay parallel to the floor and softly land with the toes if you can. If it's too much, don't jump so high. Just so I'm engaging my core, trying to float a second. So think of this as an exploratory movement for now. We'll do like 10 rounds, 10 reps and see where you're at, feel it out. So, hands engaged, pressing through the floor, hop and float. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, On this last one, we're going to really press, and we're going to try to hold, you know, it's not forever. It's like a second end, a little bit. So whatever you got, just everything into it, try to float. Ten. Good. So, we're going to add this, and we're going to jump back into a plank. If you've done this before and you're like, no, I don't like that, fine. Step back. We're going to hop. All right, we'll go nice and slow. This will be the, the moderate version first. If you just did what we were doing, well, that's what we'll do. So, from our tabletop, toes engaged. I'm going to grip the floor with my toes. Do my hop. Land. Step back. Plank, chaturanga down, I'm going to roll to my left, left arm goes long, and I'm going to roll over to my back, rock up and down. Um, yeah, I said this will be their easy version, so from our rock, wherever you get, we'll rock back, left arm long. Rolling back, pressing up to the tabletop. We'll reset our feet. Hop, step, step, push up, right arm long this time. Reach with the leg, tuck and roll. Wherever you get to, we'll rock back, right arm long, reaching with the left. Press up, knees come down. Let's do three each side. Alrighty, give you this. So we're going to roll to the left, and roll to the right, step by step. No impacts other than that first hop. So here we go, tabletop, toes engaged, hop up, come down. One push up, left arm, right leg reaches. Rock. Down the left arm. Press up. Toes engaged. Hop. Push up. Right arm. Rock. Right arm long. Left arm reaches. 
press set tabletop one. Either. All right, let's do a rocking squat get up. If it's in your practice, it's in your practice. If it's not, have some blocks standing by to boost. Boost you up. Or something to help you up. You can have a weight, you can do whatever. So when we were rocking to our backs, you know, we just came here. Now we're going to aim for a squat. So let's do, let's do three of those. Just to see where you're at, see if you got it. So for my bent sit, chin tuck, round spine. I'm going to rock, throw my arms up, come to stand. So as I come up, there's a pull to the feet and a throw of the hands, like an overhead pass and say soccer or football. What the blocks are for, if you're not getting there, you can have them in your hands, in near your feet, you're gonna rock and throw, press, and come up. Sometimes it's easier to come down. I'm going to have a boost. If that's not working, you can just go side, up, and over. If you do this version, work both sides. But, let's do, again, let's go three. We'll do three rock ups to stand. And then, uh, we'll move on. Here's this. So, chin tuck, round spine. I'm going to kick at the top, pull and push to stand. Squat, round, kick, pull. I want to dissect it a little bit. Lift, throw, up, throw up. Good. How are you feeling with that? We're going to add that to our mix. And we'll see what we get out of it. So this time, from our tabletop start, we're doing our little crane hop. And since we're pretty far into it, you can step from our crane hop. You can land and step back to your plank and then come down. Or we're going to try to do a crane, shoot our legs out. So. Jump backs and yoga, that's what we're gonna do. Again, if you're like, no way, shorten your jump, step one leg back, or land and then step both legs back. So let's go. We're gonna hop, shoot back and lower. Arm extends, rock and squat, come up, rock, roll. Up, back, down, opposite side. Up, back, down, opposite side. Up, squat.
Alright, we're wide shot. Alright. How you feel with that? Let's do more. So, in my mind, the keys for the shoot back is not to jump ass up like a handstand. Try to stay as level as possible to glide your feet out. You can either land with your arms outstretched and then lower or lower as your feet go out. Once you're down, roll, rock, up, and back. You know you're going to roll back, so on your way down, I think of this kind of as a break fall, and I'm going to go right away, as opposed to going, Ugh. we're building the pattern, and then we're incorporating it to perpetual motion or whatever mumbo jumbo you would like have fun try not to have hard stops we want to try to roll through and be fluid so let's try a few more let's do fuck it three each side i'm gonna roll to my left first Remember, strong press, hop parallel, shoot it out, roll, up, smooth, back, press, shoot, rock, one, Two. Three. That's fun for me. Hopefully it's fun for you. And it's hard to breathe. So I remember to breathe through all that. Let's take a breather. Coming down to our butts. Whatever comfortable seated position you like. Taking our left arm crossing the chest. Looking at the elbow. Looking over that left shoulder. Take control of your breath. Energetically reaching through the fingers. We'll inhale, release. Wide arms. Fingertips behind us. Inhale, chest to the ceiling. Exhale, coming back. Right arm across. Left arm hooks. Looking over the right shoulder. Shoulders down. Sparkle fingers. Controlling that breath. Release. Sweeping them up. Let them come down. Inhale, chest to the ceiling. And coming back to front. And why not? Let's go through it again. But we're going to like milk each step. So if you were like, oh, I don't know what the fuck. Then. We'll kind of dissect it here. Starting in our tabletop position. Now we've settled down. Since I know I'm hopping, I'm bringing my knees in. So more towards like a wrestling stance. And I'm going to float here. So I'm pressing up right there is my hop. So let's do hop and shoot our legs back. So we're going to try to milk that air time, whatever that is for you. We're going to float, shoot. As I shoot, i got my chaturanga arms, and we'll lower down. 
And go left arm long. Right foot bends. Right arm push up. I'm going to milk this as a twist. So I'm in a prone twist. Looking up to the ceiling. Breathing here. Extending the leg as I rock to my back. Hands come in. Knees come in. I'm going to add a little rock. And build bend sit. And now we'll come to that squat. We'll stand. Lower down. Round. Left arm long. Legs long. Right arm's going to reach. I'm feeling that twist. Back, hands come in, push up, knees come down, settling back. Toes engage, same thing, I'm gonna hop and shoot back to the chaturanga. Hop, shoot, down. Right arm long this time, left foot bends, reaching across, coming into my twist, taking a moment here. I'm gonna think of scooping my hips forward, Looking to the ceiling. And coming to my back. I'm going to scoot over for here. The camera. And we're going to we'll do two rocks. One little rock. And throwing into my squat to stand. Coming down. Right arm long. Reaching with the left. Coming into that twist. Push up, tabletop, sit back. Let's do one more each side for fun. Whatever level you want, you can just hop and come back. You can not hop at all. Actually, change the plan. Let's do crow. So we'll hover and hold, and then we'll try to shoot our legs back or step off from there. So, hopefully you're familiar with crow, but like our similar position, yeah, just tip my knees up instead of jumping this time. I like to hook on the back of my arms. Now that we're all sweaty, we'll see what happens. And we'll just seesaw forward. Toes can lift or not lift. And we'll hold. And then I'm going to actively press and shoot my legs back. Left arm long, finding that twist. Rocking to my back, arms and knees up. One rock. Two rock to squat. Stand, squat, rock. Back to center. Push, pushing up. Coming in. Resetting for our crow. Knees lift. I seesaw. Uh -oh. And then I'm going to press and shoot. Coming down, right arm long, left foot reaches for that twist, to our backs, one rock, rock to squat, and coming down, right arm long, back to center, push up, knees come down. Good. We got a couple minutes left, so let's cool down. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Let's have a little fun. We were doing our side bend sit, so I'm gonna go side bend sit. Let's see if we can mirror right leg to the side, leg knees to the right. We'll work on sitting up nice and tall. Kind of shift to the center of your hips. You can grab your shin or your knee and press. You can plant the right hand. Come for that reach. Going back to center. Now we're going to come into a twist. So my left leg is going to, as I plant my right hand, step in around. Right arm wraps, and then we'll look to the thigh, left arm reaches. And 
and why not? Let's go into a gable grip. So bottom hand, palm up, top hand, palm down, applaud yourself, wrap the hand, pinky edge over the thumb, elbow into your pocket, look over that right shoulder, chest lifts. We're going to release this upright knee, comes back to that side bend sit. And for fun, since we haven't done it, we're going to rock back to switch. So we switch the legs long, right hand plants, right elbow, right shoulder, legs release, and just roll to the other side. Left shoulder, left forearm, tucking the feet, and pressing up on the other side. So we'll play here for a moment, finding center. Again, you can hook your shin, press into the knee. Find what's comfortable or just uncomfortable enough to hang out and kind of wiggle it around, find that spot. We'll come into that reach. So left hand plants, right arm reaches. I'm tucking in the stomach here, trying to wring it out. Preparing for the twist that we're doing next. As I come back, my right leg's on top. I swing it through and cross the foot. Even if you can't make it there, that's fine. But if you cross, we're going to wrap. Left arm wraps, palm down, bottom hand palm up. Coming into that gable grip, elbow into the pocket, looking over your right shoulder. Chest is tall, chin is tucked a little bit, I'm not doing this, I'm not looking over. I'm trying to be proper. And we'll do the reverse, I'm going to keep my hand holding, I'm going to reach with the right arm. I'm going to come back to center, releasing the leg, side bend sit. And now, I don't want to do it, so we're going to do it. So we come to that shitty pigeon folding over. I'm going to walk through my tabletop, both feet, windshield wiper over. And I'm just going to mount down. We'll do this a couple times each side. So, folding over, walking my hands through tabletop, weight into the knees, feet, windshield wiper. And I mount down. You can walk or you can plant the hands to the center, shift, windshield wiper, and come back. Let's do two more. This will be one. Shifting, switching. And finishing up that second. Coming to center. Knees go back. Come up to kneel. And we'll just inhale the arms wide. I'm going to take my palms together. As they come down, I'm going to chin the chest. And just rest them on the back of my head. I'm going to release the hands, looking up. Sweeping the arms up, palms come down, same thing. I'm not pulling my head, I'm just letting my arms be the weight. As I release, I'm going to look up, proud chest to the ceiling, arms sweep. Palms come down, chin to chest. Releasing, wide sweep, big inhale. This time we're just going to look forward, the palms come down together, and hands release. We'll take a big inhale, shrug the shoulders up, and exhale, shoulders fall, chest falls, belly falls, and inhale, and release. Alright, that is class today. Hope to see you next week, and hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see. If you have anything particular you want to do, 
Hope to see you in Zoom or back on the YouTubes. Take care.